Oh, good morning, folks. It's so good to be with you today. Ah, it's this uh, September 18th, 2021. Wow. Today I get to celebrate the birthdays of two of our great-grandchildren. Oh, it's going to be a fun day. Looking forward to it. Today I want to uh, just, this is a great passage in uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, beginning with verse 16, where it, it talks about evidence, evidences of that the prophecies were real, evidence that Christ was real. And uh, Peter sh shares this in such a tremendous way. So I want to just uh, read those verses at this time. Uh, 2 Peter 1, uh, beginning with verse 16. For we do not follow cleverly devised myths when we made uh, when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was borne to him by the, the majestic glory, quote, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this very voice born from heaven, for we were with him on the holy mountain. And we have the prophetic word more fully confirmed, to which you will do well to pay attention, as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts, knowing this, first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture comes from someone's own interpretation. For no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. A lot of good stuff here, and, and this is a, a, a passage of evidences. Peter is sharing what he saw, and it truly was a great thing. I mean, he saw it happen. He was there. He was firsthand. And I, as I reflect back on Peter, he, quite often he seemed uh, impetuous and <clears throat> not necessarily into it that much. <coughs> but in reality, he grew through that whole process. <coughs> Excuse me. He was an eyewitness to the majesty, it says here. Because what did he read? Uh, and you know, I, I, I reflect back on that story particular incident in which Peter was on the mountain with Jesus and other disciples and, and uh, Jesus was there when the Father in heaven spoke, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And Peter heard it, which is evidence of, of Christ's uh, great majesty of who he really is. And uh, then this is this prophetic word, the word of God from Genesis to Revelation was not breathed by the will of man, but it was uh, breathed by God through his Holy Spirit. And, and so we need to pay attention to the words of God. Um, there, are, there are a lot of uh, even so-called scholars today that say that, oh, Parts of the Bible might be true and parts of it may not be true, but this is the word of God. It's God breathed. And I, I really believe from Genesis to Revelation that God has revealed himself and the inerrant word of God gives us the truth. Today, I don't stand on, on my words. I don't stand on my experience. Today, I don't stand on uh, the church by itself, but I stand upon the word of God and the church because Jesus established it, because God breathed it into the writers of the scripture. Oh, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing, and what an assurance that we have today. Is it truth? Yes, it's truth. Does God's word tell us about the present and the future? Certainly does. Do we have promises in God's word for eternal life? We certainly do. 
and I rest on those promises. And I'm looking forward to the day when I can be united with our Savior and loved ones in heaven. Oh, what a, what a glorious uh, testimony from the Apostle Peter as he shares in this second chapter of who Jesus is, what the Word of God is, his prophecy, and that it was not by the will of man, but it was from God through his Holy Spirit. Oh, what a comforting and powerful words. Hope you have a good weekend. Encourage you to come and, uh, and worship with us as the message will be brought on uh, at 9 o'clock and at 10.30 on the first uh, session of The Chosen. And it will be a marvelous time. Won't you come and be enjoying with us? God bless you.